Hey guys, it's Mona here at Craft Clutch. Today we're gonna to be doing some more resin art. We have another canvas that we're working on. I have eight ounces of the Envirotex Light. We are gonna go bright on this. We are gonna go with a transparent yellow. I'm using the Resin Obsession colors because they are bright and beautiful. We'll go bright pink, bright blue, we'll go a bright orange, and then we'll do a little black. So we need to mix these up really well. They're very neon colors, and they're kind of transparent, which I think will work well with what we're trying to do today. I'm going to actually split the blue into a different cup as well, just a little bit of it. I'm going to throw some of this dark blue glitter in with it. Not too much, not too much. All right, so this should be nice and bright. We'll start with the pink in the middle. Okay, and I'm going to do the black to kind of... I don't want to do a ton of it, I just want it to sort of help bring out some of that really bright pink. And they will start to blend together a little bit. We're not trying to go in perfect circles either. Okay, now I'm gonna just drip some, where there are some voids, I'll just drip some of the colors and they can start to kind of melt together a little bit. See, it takes on a life of its own, so sometimes you just have to let it be. Take your torch, pop the bubbles. I'm not going to move this one around, just as an experiment to see what will happen. I'll keep adding stuff to the edges to make sure that I have stuff everywhere. And let me just say, tempting as it is, I'm not going to put a spatula, a stir stick, or anything right in the middle of there. I'm going to let it become whatever it wants to become. Alright, we're going to let this sit for a minimum of 12 hours. I will come back and torch it a couple times. Here it is all finished, and I'm going to call it a dream because somebody had suggested that, and it is almost kind of like you're being sucked into a wormhole of a dream. I was a little skeptical as it was um, kind of moving and taking place and how it was going to end up, and I should know better. I should just have the faith because it's really hard, hard to create something ugly with this stuff. And they never look as good on camera or on film because there's always glares coming as they do in person if you were seeing it. If I bring it closer, I don't know if you can can really see the depth of like that pink where the black overlaps and it's almost like they separated and one is almost tucked behind the other. So I know you can't really tell, but be sure to let me know what you think of it in the comments below. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will definitely see you next time. Be sure to let me know if you're trying your hand at abstract resin art. And if you're not, maybe you should because it is a lot of fun. Remember to share it with the hashtag right here and I will find it on Instagram, Facebook, um, Twitter, wherever you post it. I will definitely see you next time you guys. Remember, life is too short not to shimmer. Grab your glue gun and your glitter. Stay safe and get out there. Be creative. Try something new and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!